Hey you guys, uh, I'm back. Um, there's been, since my last video, there's been a few more symptoms that have concerned me. So I wanted to share them with you guys and see if maybe you guys have experienced the same thing. And I'm growing more and more frustrated with the doctors. Um, but yeah, let me, let me start by saying I, you know, for the ones who believe in their doctors and they trust, they trust them with their diagnosis. This video is not for you. So please don't comment and say, you're crazy or this or that. You should trust your doctor. I am happy that you trust your doctor. Just like I said previously, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. I wish I did, but this video isn't for you. This video is for people who feel just like me and who are frustrated. And if you're not frustrated or if you're happy with what your doctor said, I have no idea why you even looked, why you're looking videos up on YouTube. There should be no reason for you. You're happy with your diagnosis, right? Move on with your life. I cannot move on with my life. Anyways, I appreciate the people who have said they felt just like me. Um, if I can't, res if I don't respond to the comments, it's because it's hard for me to read them sometimes. I, I don't get them on YouTube. Sometimes I try to look at the newer comments and, and like I don't see them. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so anyways, shortly after the my first video, I started, ex started experiencing more symptoms. Um, one day I was getting out of my car and I got shooting down the right down my right arm tingling numbness all the way down to to my hands um and so i thought okay yeah for sure this is because of my neck and then now it's finally showing its head and so as as much pain as i'm kind of in i was kind of happy about it i'm like we're on the path to something now and also I noticed when I tilt my neck back in like a chin tuck position, if I hold it for a while, twitching in my chest, triceps, lat muscle, all on the right side, I could trigger it and it'll start firing off until I, you know, release my neck out of that position and then it'll calm down. Now it's, they, it's been twitching basically ever since I've had the tingling and numbness right at the same time. My arm, my tricep has been tingling. My chest has been going off pretty consistently. My lat muscle, um, as long with, uh, along with everywhere else. But my right arm usually has not twitched nearly as much as my left arm. So it was a good sign for me. Then I noticed one day I, I gave myself a couple weeks off I, uh, from working out. And uh, I usually do uh, t 20 pound uh, kettlebell tricep extensions. So I do my 20 pound kettlebell tricep extensions on my left arm, which is the arm that has been twitching the most for the last few years. Do them fine, just like normally, get a little bit of twitching here and there after, but strength is spot on, I'm, I'm good. Move over to my right side, my dominant side, which has always been a little bit stronger than my left. Um, you know, I could probably do, usually before all this happened, I could probably do more like 30 pound tricep extensions and do, do them a lot easier than my left. Um, so I go to do it and I literally cannot do it. Not, I could do five and then I can't do anymore. I literally could not do one. My wife was watching me and I was showing her, look, I literally cannot do this right now. And, um, as I kept trying and trying and trying, I think I kind of like wore out the rest of my muscles or something. And for the rest of that night, I was pretty weak on that side. Um, to the point to where if I flexed my tricep muscle, it was just flaccid. It was, there was no, there was no pump in it at all. And the left side was obviously fine. Um, I couldn't lean if I leaned just and, you know, put pressure on my right hand side, um, I felt weak. I felt like I couldn't hold myself up. Uh, normal things that I, like I usually do, like yoga poses where, you know, you 
put your arm out uh, just one arm you do like a side plank type of thing couldn't do it I would just fall to the floor so then I'm thinking okay for sure this is your neck because my neck and my shoulder kind of hurt too when when that was happening and so I decided to see a neurosurgeon saw the neurosurgeon he looked at my old MRI and he told me we need to do a new MRI because from what I'm seeing on on this MRI it's not correlating with the amount of problems that you're having and so you know I explained to him what what had happened and he said okay we need to do another EMG and we need to do another MRI because maybe things got worse which I'm I was hoping for I was hoping that my neck was just completely destroyed and and we could at least go towards a path that that makes sense other than this bullshit BFS thing which I still do not believe in get the MRI unfortunately it has not changed at all from a few years ago I haven't talked to him yet I haven't talked to the neurosurgeon yet uh, I have an appointment next week but I'm pretty sure he's gonna say surgery is not on the table because things have not gotten worse um, I do have mild stenosis and moderate uh, foramen narrowing, uh, but I guess that's still not good enough. Um, so then I go to, I had an appointment with my neuromuscular specialist who absolutely hates me and he could not believe I was in his office again. And I explained to him the new symptoms. I say, hey, these new symptoms have happened, you know, even now, even though I recovered somewhat, I still, if I flex my, my tricep, uh, my right tricep is not, I don't get that full flex anymore. It's kind of, it's softer. It's softer than it, than it, than my right or my left. My left is still pretty strong and my right is still pretty, it twitches all the time. It spasms all the time and it's pretty soft if I flex it. And, you know, even my wife notices it. I've, I've, I've said, look, and the shape, you know, it looks different. It doesn't look as fully flexed. And I still cannot do tricep extensions. I could do eight pounds now. And I could do maybe like 10. And then after a set of 10, I can't do anymore. My, my arm just craps out on me. The tingling and the numbness is getting worse. And I've, I told my neuromuscular special all that. And he just kind of rolled his eyes. Like it wasn't concerning to him at all. I told him that I used to be able to do 50 push-ups in a row. Now I could do two sets of 20 and the last set is very difficult. Um, I could get to maybe 15 and then the last five, I'm barely, I'm barely, I'm barely doing them. And to him, that's not important because when he does the clinical work up on me and he does all the tests, all the strength tests or whatever, he goes, you're completely fine. And I'm telling him, yeah, I'm fine doing these tests, but the, the progressive, to me, the progressive nature of things, it just doesn't start to where it's like you wake up one morning and you cannot open a Coke can. I don't believe that's the way it works. I believe you slowly get weaker. And I'm trying to tell him, I think it is the radiculopathy. Now he thinks it has nothing to do with it at all. Even though he told me in the beginning, it's probably radiculopathy. Now he doesn't think that's what it is. He thinks I'm just crazy. He thinks I'm ma like making it all up or something. Uh, Cause my reflexes are fine. Uh, you know, to him, my strength is fine. And um, I'm, I'm asking him, I go, I want another EMG because the, the neuromuscular specialist actually wants one before we move on uh, to even start discussing surgery and he won't do it. He won't give me another EMG even to find like more radiculopathy or whatever. So I'm pretty much stuck. These doctors basically control your destiny. <laughs> if even, even with all the symptoms that I'm having right now and they're significant, I mean, I'm in pain most of the day with my arm my, my neck, you know, my neck doesn't feel good. You know, I do have weakness in this, in my dominant arm. And even though he thinks it's subjective, it's, it's important to me that I used to be able to do something. And in the blink of an eye, I literally cannot do a certain weight. 
and I'm struggling to do something like eight pounds. Um, when I used to be able to do probably, like I said, like 30 pounds, no problem on this arm. Um, like I said, I could trigger the twitches if I do the chin tuck and that's still not significant to him. I'm like, you don't have, you don't think that has to do with my neck? Like I could actually trigger the twitching. He just pretty much laughed, like just does not give a shit. And so now I'm stuck with basically nowhere else to go at this point. And I just, I guess I just have to deal with weakness is, you know, it, should I be glad that I'm not in a wheelchair yet? Like, is, is that what it's going to take for, for these doctors to open up their eyes and say, okay, something is actually wrong with you? So, like I said, if, if you're frustrated just like me, if this has happened to you, if you have radiculopathy and you have experienced these same sim symptoms, let me know. I Do I fear that I still have some sort of progressive motor neuron disease? Yes, I kind of do. But I'm hoping that it's just more of my neck and I'm just really sensitive to like any changes in my neck. But yeah, I still think that I could have motor neuron disease because more times than not, if you look at the statistics, radiculopathy is really, uh, people with radiculopathy, they get misdiagnosed a lot and it, end, and it could end up being ALS. I think I read on a site, it was 40%, there's 40% of ALS patients at first, it's a, it's a false negative, right? So that means they thought it was something else like radiculopathy, which is a common mistake that these doctors make. They, they always say it's radiculopathy every single time. Oh, it's radiculopathy. It's radiculopathy. And it ends up being something worse. Uh, so am I a little bit worried that maybe I have radiculopathy and I could have some slow progressing uh, disease. Yeah. I still, I still do think that because it's not just me who has had, you know, problems like this and it turning out to be something far more worse. Uh, it, it, and I'm not making it up. You could check it out online. Uh, there's, you know, and this guy doesn't want to give me an EMG to, to, to prove me wrong, which is crazy. It's like, if you really want to shut me up, give me the EMG and say, no, this is definitely radiculopathy at this point, And this is why still doesn't want to do it. Um, and this is one of the top ALS specialists in the nation. And his lack of compassion is unbelievable. I wish I could say his name. Um, but I'm not going to put him out there like that. So anyways, I just want to give you an update. If you guys feel the same way I do, please feel free to give a comment and I would really appreciate if the people who do believe in their doctor just don't even comment. Like, what's the point? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my mind just because you believe your doctor. All right, you guys have a good one.